Good morning, folks. We're here on site again at uh, Tia Maria, and I wanted to give you an update on the progress since yesterday. We had to leave early because of the heavy rain showers, so we're playing catch up today on site. Let me give you a tour of, uh, of what's going on. You can see from from the workers right now that they're in the process of uh, putting more cages in. You can see here directly in front of us that they're putting, this cage has already been put in. They've got the additional cage over here and the workers are over on this side right now. Going ahead and cleaning up the area so they can drop the, the gravel in and then put the rebar cages on top of it. They're actually forming up on this side over here on the tie beans you can see where they're they've got this all across here they're going to do this section form it they're going to do this section and form it they're almost completed now and then they're going to roll over here and make this an L. They'll connect this beam right here, tie beam, to this tie beam here. And then they'll add forms to the support. They'll add the tie beam to the support columns and go ahead and form that up as well. And then pour the concrete. And the concrete will be about approximately two inches over the top of that. Uh, the tie beams for the height of the overall concrete. So they're going to be pouring a lot of concrete in the overall structure. They've got the uh, tie beams in along here too. You can follow my finger. But in general, like I said, the weather really hurt us. We're we're actually actually trying to trying to get some uh, gain some ground back by. Uh, by putting more workers on site to get this to get this foundation completed, but it's a lot of hard work. I mean, these these guys are are really these these Filipino workers are, are exceptionally hard workers, and it's it's backbreaking work. They earn every bit of their money, that's for sure. And you can see how much is going on here. It doesn't look like a lot from for the untrained eye, but if you're on site every day, you can you can sure see the progress. Across the street, they're putting uh, Ainsley, my neighbor, is getting uh, some high-quality sand called Vibro. It's the it's the finished sand. It's uh, it's a it's a better grade than the than they use for the uh, mixing uh, concrete sand. And they just got a huge delivery today. Lucky to get that in with the uh, with the, uh, the cases of uh, of coronavirus around here and the restrictions. So that's a big plus for him. There's the wife over there chatting with some of the workers so we're all good right now let me take you to the next step we'll see what's going on picture of my wife there contributing to the dig site she wants to show the laborers that it's just not a man's job as well this way she doesn't have to go to the gym after the shoot. She can go ahead and, and just continue to dig, put her on site, keep her, keep her out of my hair anyway, which is a good plus. So She needs to work on her technique, I can tell you that right now. I think she's had much experience in this. But she's got some good coaches here, so that's the plus side. Not wearing gloves or protective equipment, so she's going to get dinged on that on their OSHA card. And she hands off the shovel after two bags. Hello folks, just arrived at Tia Maria. 
and we'll see what's going on. I can hear that mixer in the background, which is good news, which means they're pouring the, the tie beans. We had some bad weather that stopped us from, from going any further and trying to get those poured for the last couple of days. You can see the, you can see the crew out here working hard. They're putting the gravel in, mixing the sand and the cement. To get that mix, let's check out what they're doing. Let's get up closer and see that assembly line in process. Hard working guys here, man. Filipinos got their assembly line going. The crew is just pumping that out. One bucket after another. All the way down the line. Into the actual bases and the tie beam forms. Fill that concrete. See if we can get a better shot. See they're they're pouring another column base, and you can see the uh, part of the uh, tie beam's got a forms that are filled. They're pouring a section at a time. Let me see if I can get a, a picture of what those sections look like. You can see that they're adding more. Rebarb cages. As the weather and time permits, you see that rebar cage. You can see right here, can't put the cage in because of all the flooding they had from the rains. So the project manager is doing what he can to maximize his, uh, his manpower here and make progress on our build. Which is tough with this, uh, we're in the rainy season here at the Philippines. These folks are doing everything they can to make it happen. Let's go around to the backside and see what's going on. And you can see that they poured this, poured this four beans, excuse me, tie beans this morning. Let's see if I can get a close up shot. See what goes all the way up. They did this first section and now they're backfilling it by hitting that column base and then rolling into the tie beams. And you can see how much the concrete goes over the tie beams, looks like a couple inches. They poured this this morning. That's as far as I've got now. Wife talking to the foreman. You guys are working hard. Look at the weather for the. Take a look at the sky so we can see what the weather looks like. Right now, no rain, but that can change any minute here in the Philippines, man. It doesn't take long for that weather to change, both good and bad.
Hey folks, I figured I'd come down here and give you a, a close-up of what the actual pour and footings are like and the size. We go down to one of the, the trenches here and you can see an example of one of the cages right here. And then the columns that are tied into them at the bottom. When I ask the project manager why this one looks like it's angled off, off a little bit. Or maybe it's my eye that hasn't centered up with here, but to me it looks like it's off a tad bit. And if I pan left over here, you've got one of the foundations that's already poured. I'm going to walk over here and you can get an idea. Here we go. In the process of pouring this right now. So they're pushing that into the corners. You can see how how much water is in these these ones that foundation holes, so they can't put the concrete in yet. It should give you a pretty good idea of the amount of work that went into this just to get us where we're at today. So this was done by machine, but they're doing everything else by hand. A lot of labor. Hey folks, it's uh, Net and Steve, and we're uh, we're done for the day. And we want to say uh, say goodbye. Guys, please don't forget to like and then to to click the red button and then the bell so that you will receive more video for us. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Did you see? Hey folks, it's Net and Steve. Hi guys, we're back here again at Tia Maria. So today is August 12th. Why are you doing this? Ish? Why are you saying August? We already did that this morning and walked up. Oh, okay, I don't know. Why are you, we're signing off here, babe. That's what I said. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> Take two, wife doesn't get it. <laughs> Hi folks. It's Ned and Steve here at. Hey guys, don't forget to, to like. <laughs>